What's up guys, Ryan Mullins here, CEO of Aglet. I'm here with uh, Mateen Zar, CEO, designer, producer, shipper, creative director, uh, Ronnie Feig, historian of uh, social studies. A really incredible new brand. He's actually rocking some, uh, some dope sneakers today from social studies. Uh, we did a little bit of shopping, checked out the store. So thank you for joining today. Yep, thank and, you. Uh, check us out. All right guys, so now we're just kind of chilling here a little bit outside of Kith, talking about social studies now. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this conversation. We've done a few collaborations um, with social studies brand on, on Aglet, and we've got a lot more coming out. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, before that, there's probably a lot of people um, out there who haven't yet come across social studies. So right. the premise of social studies is a culmination of research depicted through product. So uh, what I've done is examine fashion's past, which is where the social studies name comes from. And I like to incorporate different realms of fashion into the footwear space. Uh, why I did footwear was because uh, what first got me into fashion in general was shoes. Uh, I've been collecting shoes for a really long time, like my whole life. Yeah. And uh, my uncle got me into shoes really early. And so I've seen the trajectory that the footwear market has gone, mm. just expanding so much mm. uh, in both consumer and styles. And so um, that is really what got me into starting a footwear brand mm. like Social Studies. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, deciding to mix those realms. So for example, with my first shoe, what I did was I took the jewelry aspect of fashion and I incorporated it into footwear. So of course, hardware has been introduced in footwear before. You know, people use silver or, you know, chrome things to yeah. accentuate shoes, but uh, to actually have a necklace type jewelry piece and use it as a design aesthetic and a lacing mechanism on a shoe and then be able to seamlessly translate that or repurpose that one piece into from on foot to onto body is uh, kind of the yeah. what I'm what I'm trying to do with social studies. Nice. Yeah, um, but also I wanted to differentiate the shoe in some yeah. way because you know there's a lot of shoes out there and there's a lot of different designs and you know they're all some some great some not so great but uh, at the end of the day a shoe is a shoe. Yeah. So I just randomly one night was was looking at this chain in my room and I was like this should go on this mm. so then that one just chain and on the back of the shoe turned into a full-blown necklace bracelet type chain that can then be used as again a lacing mechanism or yeah. a design aesthetic so like streetwear is now up there mixing with luxury so yeah, there's exactly. also two things and no one has yet I've seen some people like put diamonds or whatever on sneakers. Yeah. But like that idea of of mixing other parts of luxury yeah. with sneakers is something that I think no one's thought about yet or unlocked. I personally have not seen it. Uh, definitely not in the way that I'm doing it where you can kind of add your own twist to the design. So I like to say that the consumer is the ultimate designer. So I will I will construct, I will design and construct a shoe but I will leave it up to you to lace it or right. chain it or whatever, like right. ma really make that ultimate final design yours. Right. So uh, 250 people might have the same shoe, but not no one has to wear it the same way. Exactly. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, we really want to celebrate that and collaborate with people like you. And so what we've done with you at Aglet the first two times were, you know, just putting, dropping your sneakers in the game and dropping them at specific locations. Maybe you could share a little bit about some of the stuff we've talked about and like what we're, what yeah. we have planned coming up. Yeah. So what we want to do now is incorporate physical product into the digital space. So giving Aglet users exclusive access to product that is not released or that is exclusive to Aglet. Um, so basically being able to get it the same way they would digital product, but once they get that digital product, they then gain access to the physical. Exactly, or, or being able to, like the only way, like so you, you guys know you have the locations in the game, so if you're wearing social studies in the game, 
And then being the only way you can unlock the physical purchase experience is if you're wearing yeah. the virtual social study sneaker as you check in and unlock it. And then you get a physical commerce experience as well. Okay. And so I think that's the main thing with what we're doing that a lot of people, it still hasn't really broke through. Yeah. It's like Pokemon Go for sneakers. Yeah, but really it is more that I think is the bigger opportunity, which is how do you go through the game to get to the physical product? All right, man, well, let's, we can wrap it up. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your time and, and uh, chilling with us today on KIF. So thank you guys for joining us.